Yo guys, it's JP from Gamerhood here and in this video I'm going to tell you how to download One Piece Fighting Path in 5 minutes without the need for a Chinese ID. So I'm just going to do some quick and easy steps and you're going to have the game in no time. Android only by the way. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is type in Huawei App Gallery into Google and then from there we're going to go onto the site. We're going to go onto the first site that pops up and we're going to download the App Gallery APK. So in the top left there's a download button. We're going to press that and then we're going to install the app gallery. Once it's downloaded, then we're going to open it up and then we're going to install the app gallery. If you're like me and you don't use Chrome as your default web browser, your phone might ask you just to confirm in settings if you want to install unknown apps. So just do that and then install the app gallery. It might take a little minute, so just be patient and let your phone do its thing. And when we have the app, will continue all right so just wait for it to download and then open it and i want you to press all the blue buttons that come up next and there we have it we finally have the app gallery so that's step one out of the way now let's continue all right guys so the next step for us is to make a huawei id account so we need an email address that we can use to actually log into the game and log into the Huawei App Store. It's going to ask you to install HMS Core, which is an essential part of the app that you need to continue with this process. So just install it, it's fine. And let's just wait for that to install. Just press done, and then it's going to say logging in. We just need to wait for that. Yep, just keep waiting. It takes a little while, but once that's done, we'll be able to make an email address that we can use for this game so just press next on everything and now we choose a country so just choose a country that you're from if you're from united states of america it won't be there so just choose another country and then choose your date of birth it doesn't really matter guys but you know i'm gonna use my real date of birth anyway it's not that deep but now use your email address so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an email address so i don't actually have because it's a petal mail account i don't have one so i'm gonna make a new one right now this is gonna be the actual email address that you use for the game yeah this is what email i'm gonna use i just took a screenshot to remember that because yeah i don't have petal mail so yeah once that's done let's just wait for it it takes a little while to be completed so once it's all loaded, then your email will be created and you can skip the next part. You just press yes on those and then you can skip the next part. Skip that. We don't need an emergency contact or whatever. So skip that. And now it's going to log in and you'll see that your new email is logged in. So that's great. That's just what we want to press next and agree. Just always agree to everything. Receive notification. We don't want to agree to that though. So now your email is logged into the Huawei app store and that's perfect. That's just what we needed. So now what we need to do is change our Huawei app to the Chinese region. And you do this by going to settings. Then we're going to go to country slash region. And then we're going to change this from our original country to China. So just search for China, just like I'm doing. And continue and then once we do that and it finishes loading everything's going to be in chinese and then all we need to do is find a one piece fighting path app so it's loading as you can see just agree always just agree with all that blue if you see the blue just agree it does take a while to load with some of these things but now you know it's just changing and supplying the chinese language to everything so now there we go guys now if we just go to the games, type in One Piece, obviously that's what we're looking for. And all you need to do is just look for that icon. So there is a few different One Piece games but this is the icon you need. It might be changed right now, I'm not sure. But actually no, it should still be the same to be fair. So yeah, I don't know how it's got a 3.3 rate and this is one of the best One Piece games I've ever played. It should at least be a 5. It shouldn't be any lower than that. It's amazing. But yeah, it does take a, a while to download. So I'm going to skip past this bit. And as you can see, guys, we've got the game downloaded in five minutes. 
and now I'm just going to tell you how to start it up so just press the blue button again whenever you see them and um, we're going to let it load it has a lot of installing to do as in installing the game files but just press agree on everything you see and just wait for it to load whenever it goes black or whatever this is the home screen see Rayleigh right there with Luffy but it's going to install the game files now this is the first initial download but there is another one which is much larger and takes a much longer time to complete but I'm just going to skip past all of this anyway and when it's finished installing what you're going to see is that the game is going to link to your petal mail account so that email address that you created earlier is always going to be associated with your game data and there's actually one more thing I need to tell you guys about which is when I first started I kept getting an error message from Rayleigh and what I had to do to get around this was download a VPN called Jai Booster, which allows me to play the game with a Chinese location. I might make another video on this guys if you need me to so just comment below if you're having any trouble and I'll see what I can do. But otherwise if this video helped you download One Piece without any problems then don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel because we've got more One Piece videos coming soon. Peace out.